Hello everyone, my name's Julie Wood. Welcome to this channel. Welcome to my Facebook group. And today I want to talk about finding your courage to discover your fears. Do you remember who you were before the world told you who to be? Because our gifts are often sitting right under our nose and yet we're so quick to forget them. And that's because it's natural and what comes naturally to us isn't always easy to see for ourselves and explain to others. I'm sure as a healer or a spiritual worker or anyone in that field, it's really hard to explain to other people what you do. But our story is really our superpower if we choose to believe it. And there is all these hidden gems throughout our story and it's our responsibility to pay it forward and pass these gems on to people that most need it. So don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and go and do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. And that's a quote from Howard Thurman. And it's so true, isn't it? So what stops us from coming alive? And it's usually that fear. It's the ultimate motivator to distract, to avoid, to numb and dim our light. And if we think of fear as a bodyguard, he's the one standing out in front of your peace. And he won't let you in. Is left you no choice but to distract yourself, to numb out and disassociate in all the ways that give you temporary relief and momentary happiness. But we always have an opportunity to fire this guy. We always have an opportunity to put the pieces back together any way we want. We have choices. And in fact, you can leave pieces out to make room for new ones if they don't fit anymore. It's like giving those parts of ourselves a new contract, giving them a pay upgrade, giving them new responsibilities. So my question to you is, do you remember who you were before the world told you who to be? And our gifts are often, as I said, sitting right under our nose, yet we're so quick to forget. And that's because it's natural and what comes naturally to us isn't always easy to see for ourselves and explain it to others. But you really have a choice. You can really choose to explore those amazing gifts or you can choose to keep hiding them. At this time on the planet, we've been really asked to step up and into the most magnificent being of who we are, we're asked to bring forward all those amazing gifts and talents and treasures that we hold within us and anchor them onto the planet. To be that amazing being of love, light and life that can create amazing things. But first of all, we have to pause and press the pause button. First of all, we have to sit still and get real with what's really important to us. Because we have this bodyguard protecting us and, and they've been there for a while and they don't want you to see or feel a lot of things. And I think we need to sit down with these fears, with these, <coughs> with these resistances, if you like, with these sabotaging identities. Because it's likely they've been blocking the door to quite a mess. And it's about time you got organised and had help. And in a society where so much is dismissed, you shouldn't be one of them. The sooner you take your own power back and start to build up the mental, emotional, physical, spiritual strength, the sooner we'll all be able to control what we can and more importantly, to understand what those things are and to start to build our resilience and confidence muscles. So again, do 
Do you remember who you were before the world told you who to be? And our gifts, as I keep saying, are sitting right under our nose, yet we're so quick to forget. And our story really is our superpower if we choose to believe it. We've got amazing stories. We each of us have an amazing story to share. We may not think it's amazing. We may think, oh yeah, well, who's going to listen to that? Who, who wants to know? But we are amazing. And, it, and it's about time that we recognised it and loved it and really have the willingness and the courage to deep dive into ourselves and let that guide the way. And greeting it with open arms, the good, the bad and the ugly. Because you have the strength and support to feel the fear and do it anyway. And it's really important at this time to step up and into being the magnificence of who we are. I just love coaching and being that super conscious creator coach to help people move into being the magnificence of who they are. Identifying all those beautiful sabotaging identities and fears and releasing them and stepping into being you, authentic you, the most magnificence of you. And of stepping out of the old 3D paradigm and into the 5D paradigm and become you. So if you want to know more, message me, put yes below this and I'll contact you. And let's talk further because it's time. It's time for you. It's time for you to deep dive. And it's time for you to be supported and coaching gives you that. Without having to someone as your sounding board to coach you and help you and assist you. Then you keep going round and round and, and on that hamster wheel and keep recreating the same things. So I'm really looking forward to catching up with everybody again and to share this amazing life. Because why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we want to? Everyone around us is so full of fear, of worry. Why can't we just create the life that we love? Why can't we step into being a conscious creator and really do it? And I think it's time for us to do that. So until next time, everybody, bye for now.